Whether you're headed to a fiesta parade or to the beach, it's important to remember the sunscreen. You have a ton of choices with all kinds of claims on those labels. Yeah, it can get kind of confusing and overwhelming, right? So 12 on your side's Marilyn Moritz tells us which ones actually have you covered. Lathering up with a good sunscreen can protect you from more than painful sunburn. So Consumer Reports just tested dozens of lotion sprays and sticks. We're looking at how well a sunscreen protects against two kinds of UV rays, UVA and UVB, which can cause skin cancer, skin aging, and sunburn. To test SPF, the sun protection factor, they put sunscreens on people's backs. After a tub soak to test water resistance claims, they were exposed to simulated sunlight. Next day, they checked for redness. To test UVA protection, they used plastic plates and machines to measure the amount of absorbed rays. And listen to this. We found considerable differences in performance, even among sunscreens from the same brand. In particular, we found that some sunscreens don't match the level of protection that's listed on their label. Their recommendations? Copper Tone Water Babies SPF 50 was a top lotion. It's not just for babies. Testers noted it did leave a greasy film on skin. Eucerin Advanced Hydration Spray SPF 50 was the best spray sunscreen. It left a slight film on the skin. Thinking budget, Equate Walmart Ultra Lotion SPF 50 is their most affordable recommended lotion. Trader Joe's SPF 50 is the most affordable spray they recommend. It's six bucks. No matter what sunscreen you use, it matters how you apply it. A big mistake people make is not using enough. You should use a teaspoon for every exposed body part. For sprays, apply until your skin glistens and rub it in. Remember to reapply every couple of hours because sunburn is no day at the beach. Marilyn Moritz, KSAT 12 News.